I'm gonna talk up so I don't pee pop into the mic. Damn, dude. Yeah, yeah nice. drop it knowledge like that. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, pull that jerky. Jerk me off. Yeah, fuck my dick. <laughs> Eat my sausage. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Comedia Go Go's Public Access. Once again, this is Larry. Hey, this is Regan. Hey, this is Jess. And we are happy campers to be talking about what today? Uh, three topics. First topic, if you were to create a unique animal-inspired fighting style, what animal would you choose and what would be your special move? Topic number two, what is the greatest negotiation you've ever had with your parents? Parents. And topic no oh plural parent or parentheses as parents. So our subject dog. Wait for Sorry. Your hey. uh, and third topic: What person physically embodies the perfect female form to you? It can be real, fictional, historical, artwork, or a combination of all. And we are pleased as punch to have one of my favorite comedians in San Antonio, Texas, one of my personal friends. Josh Plum. Josh, oh, can you man, say hello? Oh, man, a bunch of ones and zeros right now. <laughs> <laughs> all digital to the wire system here. This is crazy. I'm, thanks for rent, letting me on. I'm, I'm Star Trek. Starstruck. Are you Josh? Starstruck. Are you joshing around with I'm me? I'm joshing around pulling your leg. I'm Starstruck right now. Listen, <laughs> you guys don't understand. I, I'm a big fan of Comedia Go-Go. I, I know it sounds like pandering, but it's not pandering because it's true. Uh, Love y'all stuff. Love y'all. I've been to your movie three times. Come yes, on. you have. Yes, yeah, one, one of shirt. our biggest supporters, and I would hope that you feel that we're one of your biggest supporters as yeah, well. Living my dream, man. You good? Yeah, so, yeah. what you been up to lately, man? Oh man, uh, just doing you know some spots here and there. Uh, Funniest in South Texas. That was fun. Yeah, yeah damn yeah. straight. And we're not yeah. allowed to talk about dick farts. Uh, listen, I uh, contractually obligated to <laughs> keep that to stage only. That's Got it. Oh, nice. Nice, yeah. Or can, or dick, okay, can I ask, are dick farts a real thing? It is a real thing. You can look it up. Have you ever dick farted? I've never dick farted. I've never had Crohn's disease, so... Oh, Wait, is, is it, that so what that, it is? It really yeah. comes along with Crohn's disease. It does, yeah. That's one of the symptoms. There was a poor guy, I, I, when I was researching it, I found a radio interview, and he was like, this is so funny, look at my dick fart. <laughs> and the poor guy was dying. He didn't that's know it. the noise it makes. It really whistles, yeah, it does. Oh, my God. That makes that joke so much more. Crohn's the, the Zeus's dad. <laughs> what? Crom? <laughs> Chronos disease. Crom's disease. Chromes. 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 Oh, like the stuff you put on your, uh, like, your head, like, yeah. uh, like you and Jesse's head over here. Chrome domes. Yeah, chrome come dome. On. Yeah, hey, come on. I'm not a chrome dome. Like you, Cronin. Batteries not included. Ah, dude, I yeah. get it. Yeah. Yeah. Cocoon. Chrono trigger. Chronos. I, cuatro. <laughs> cuatro. Four disease? No. Four locos disease? No, cuatro. 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 Uh, open your mind, uh, Quaid. Dos, tres. <laughs> open your mind, Dennis Quaid. Yes. Total I Recall. Now, I know what Total Recall is, dude. I didn't know that had anything to do with dick farts. You seen the new RoboCop? Is it cool? I have, actually. What did you think of it? Uh, Here, <laughs> that's, I think that's the perfect reaction. The acting was... Real, uh, it was it was robotic, oh. and yes, and, I, and that sounds like it's supposed to, like that's the way it's supposed. To, but no, Let's see. I wish they would have just no. called it uh. RoboCop Four. Like I wish it would have just been a. F- How cool would have that been if they would have just because it was almost a different. Like, you know what they did with this one? Line. They they took the beginning of the first one, which was like fifteen minutes, and they stretched it out to forty five minutes. Yeah, they're really streamlining in the eighties. They're like, we're fucking coked. We gotta fucking people want to see. Fucking just put him in the suit. <laughs> yes, put him in the suit. Just put him in the suit. <laughs> Coked up movie. Exactly. We got like two hours here. We want him to be kicking ass, not being. He's not in a suit yet. Where? Why is it? And in this movie, they're like, "Well, this show is emotion. Look, he's so, so cool. And, uh, he got blown up instead of shots of death. Yeah. It's a bit more realistic. It's 80s oh, movie. I was really hoping. You know, the, the original Let's just kind of made it, out of it. it made the easiest connection with him and his son with just a simple like, okay, his son liked this TV show. He sees the TV show later on. It resonates with him as <laughs> yes. a human being. He's pretty friendly with his son. You notice that? He's yeah. Like smooching his it's, forehead all. It's been making the, a smacking sound. You hear that? <laughs> Yeah, it really goes you know, into you know, the, you know, the family go, dynamic. Did you, you watch the Did you watch the base? Did you watch the baseball game? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tuck you in. Yeah. Let me smooch your mom now. That's thirty minutes of the movie. <laughs> but did they? Okay, on this RoboCop, did they have um, all the different like uh, versions of RoboCop killing 
people and exploding and stuff. No, they they started with like already they had like, ones that worked. Actually. Yeah, like really <laughs> good, what? like really good regular drone RoboCops. Yeah, they didn't, didn't even have that didn't have parts. human parts. They didn't really need them. I mean, it's a co- they, yeah, they, they, have, they had a couple that was like, ah! and they were really good at their job. Like they weren't bad. There's nothing wrong with anything. But is that any way call back to RoboCop Two where they actually rolled out the RoboCop Two and they all sucked? Remember that? No, no not really. No, they, they didn't. They didn't do that. It no. have just been part four. Yeah. Because like it's the future now. We've gotten really good. Was at it Robocop. in Detroit? Yeah. Did everyone drive Chevy Corsica? No, uh, I wish. I like that Michael Keaton was the uh, the inventor of the RoboCop. Yeah. Was he? Which is funny because he's like, we need a, we need someone that can protect this city. Let's invent. But he's Batman already. You don't. <laughs> you need. Didn't even think about that even, for one second. Put a suit on. Just save billions of dollars to the taxpayer. No, Batman can old. die. RoboCop can't die. Well, Robo, RoboCop, Robocop can, can, can die. Too. He can die. Yeah. He can die. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't any like bad guys in the movie per se. No, like, uh, like, Bud Jones. You know, yeah. that's the whole thing though. Is like they know like better Red than Bo- to try to uh, Red? Red. Yeah, Clarence Boddicker. Like rather than try to Shut like up, redo dude. him and or recast it, like they'd rather better you know just to leave it. Alone. No bitches out. Yeah, bitches yeah. leave. Bitches leave. There you go. Oh, that's a great line. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. You dumbass. That's <laughs> <laughs> that line from the movie. Saw it you that 70s joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, Josh, dude, <laughs> fuck RoboCop. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I like it's it. not a terrible movie. But no movie nowadays It should have just is. been called, like, RoboCop 4 or something completely different. They picked They're it up not about going f- to. after they got through that intro, that 45 minutes, it was all right. It was okay. Let me ask you something. Would you have went to go see it if it wasn't called RoboCop? I probably would have given it a chance because the director is supposed. I still haven't seen his previous movies. He made two movies called, I think, Elite Squad, and those movies are supposedly. But you've never cool. seen Elite Squad. Yes. Now, Elite if Squad. Elite Squad was called A Team, or if Elite Squad was I, was called um, a Nightbreed, I, I feel like a lot know? of these movies start out not being the franchise, exactly. and then they're like, you know what? It's Robocop, no, basically. Really no, that's exactly that's what, what it is. Exactly. Yeah, that's what change happened. some names, make him blue, then make him black again, whatever. That's what happened with Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw was ripping off Texas Chainsaw so much, they thought it yeah. would be cheaper to buy the rights than get sued. That's yeah. true. Those fucks. Yeah. yeah. I like it. But a lot of it, a lot of it is my Yeah. Too. But if 18 was called the Elite Squad. No, but 18. The was- proof is that you haven't seen the Elite Squad. That's why they remake movies all the time. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Would I have seen brain, RoboCop if it wasn't called the RoboCop? I would have saw the Elite Squad if it was in the theaters and I saw a trailer for it. I would have like, oh, I'm going to see that. But they wouldn't make a trailer for it and put it in theaters because it's not a remake. The problem is it was rated PG-13. That's all. There was no... There's The f- was first that? RoboCop was so brutal and wonderful. It just had no balls to they it. They were okay with making rated R movies in the 80s. Yeah. They're like, these movies ain't for kids. But kids <laughs> loved them. <laughs> yeah. They actually, they actually could have gone further with the RoboCop thing. Like, he... Cause he, he stays with his wife and his kid. They're not preventing him from going in this What? One. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it, she's so the there's wife. there's a whole another personal level there they could have. So the wife doesn't freak out. No, like they the stay does, together. Ah, but... oh, it's pussy shit, man. <laughs> they live well, because like... his wife doesn't freak out in the original. That's in the sequel. In part one, they just assume he was dead, and he just never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, here's the other funny thing. RoboCop the original is so fucking hardcore. It's got coke and drugs and violence, and then it became a fucking Saturday morning cartoon. That's Love yeah, that. that's fantastic. That's like that's. I think that was the cool thing about the eighties is like they'd have this horrible thing and they go, let's make a cartoon out of it because they knew kids watched it, like Toxic Avenger, like that movie. Just is about to say that vile and then Tales they had, from the Crypt, uh, Toxic Crusaders, Toxic Crusaders. They're gross, they're, but, but they, they still, still get, get girls. girls. Remember Toxic Crusaders? No. Yeah, Toxie fucked. Toxie <laughs> fucked. <laughs> they're like, let's dude. make a toy out of this mutant that fucked, and we fucking bought Bottom. them and watched it. Yeah, I almost was gonna show uh, Mikey and Gunner Toxic Crusaders uh, the DVD, and Andy's like, uh, "Can you not?" <laughs> I went, "Yeah, I guess." Well, Even the cartoons, the, the you, cartoon's fine. I, the cartoon's I know. fine. Yeah, it's like garbage pail kids. Yeah. But what if they want to watch the source material? Well, they can. Wait. That's it. They don't know about the source t- material till later. Come on, Toxie. All right, Jess. What do you got for us today? In today's edition of a half and half, yeah, I'm gonna look into that, and yeah, all right, Dan. All right. We're talking about our old. Uh, Thai buddy, uh, Tony Ja, who's uh, back 
after a um ding 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 yeah bang, bang. <laughs> that's thanks larry that's what regan said <laughs> no that's what we said when we first saw the movie and that's all subtitles. it sounded like yeah subtitles ding 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 bang, bang. uh he's <laughs> he's back in a sequel to uh his movie tom yum gung which is actually Stop making fun of the thai people <laughs> and their and their language man it's their racist. beautiful language which is actually you know shrimp soup but that was yeah. the name of the original movie, um, the movie of a man who uh, had his elephant stolen and he had to fight to get him back. And boy, did he get those elephants back. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. If you've never seen it, it's called The Protector uh, in the United States. Oh, what's, the, what's the real name? Tom Yum Goon. Which is, you can order that at a Thai restaurant. And that's not a joke. That's not like, oh. Is that yeah. real? Yeah. It's like, Tom Yum Goon. All right, I'll order that. I'll have five of those. No, you can actually, that's a soup. It's you know, got the it, word yum in the title. It's yeah, cool. it's got the word yum in the title. It's, it's so. Um, Ooh. <laughs> what would you go for lunch, Chub Suey? <laughs> it's so. Um, he's back. Well, they did ma- name a movie uh, P21, right? <laughs> Which is what you order, <laughs> order at, a, and, at a Vietnamese restaurant, yeah. at a pho restaurant. But, um, but P21 didn't star a Vietnamese star, though. <laughs> I know. It but was it should have. It was about, a parking, it was about garage. a parking garage. And someone was killing somebody, but I saw that poster, and it's just like. Dude and a chick. I was like, are they gonna go get vermicelli bowls? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I watch that movie. It's free rolls. Yeah. So so Tony right. Jaws back. The, I think the plot of the movie, from what I could tell, uh, you know, as all action movies have, you know, questionable plots, is that uh, his uh, one of his great buddies, who's a elephant caretaker, is murdered, and then he gets framed for the murder. And so uh, the nieces of said murdered friend come out to chase him. Is what, this a sequel to Padwinson? This is the sequel to. <laughs> Pad Thai. <laughs> Pad Thai with toast. This is a sequel to Lemon Chicken. This has martial arts in it. Right? This does have martial arts in it. Yes, for right. those keeping up. Hell yeah! Oh, for those who are not, for those yeah, for those who are not who are not familiar with it, Tony Jaw is a breakout uh, martial arts sensation in two thousand three, two thousand two, two thousand four with the movie um, Ong Bak, and yeah. he follows in the footsteps of um, old school Jackie Chan. He does his own stunts. Um, and they're crazy ass stunts, and uh, he does his own fighting, of course. Yeah, if you haven't seen Ong Bak, Ong Bak is amazing. Ong Bak is amazing. You've got to it, watch is, it. it is on Netflix. I haven't seen the third one of you. I have, and it's gar- it's garbage. Um, is it? Yes, it's okay. garbage. Um, because the thing about him is that he actually like he got tired of making movies, and he only made two of them, and he made Ong Bak two, which was like his third, and then he was like he had a contract to finish more movies, but then he decided to become a monk. Like an actual oh, wow. like monk, and he, oh, he went mace. He wow. went ma- he went Dave Chappelle, <laughs> <laughs> and said, I'm tired of this comedy shit. And he fucking like left and became a monk. You get a lifetime supply of Beano when you do that. You know, <laughs> yeah, it comes with benefits. Beano, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> no, but he he really did leave. They're like, where'd he go? He went to go to a monster to become a monk. And that's why Ong Bak. What a dick. That's why. That's why Ong <laughs> More Bak. Like Tony Jerk. <laughs> that's why Ong Bak Three uh, is sucks because it's an incomplete movie. They had. They were originally filming stuff for part two and part three, and they were supposed to be in conjunction with each other, almost back to back, like uh, Back to the Future. And they only did a few segments for part three, and they're like, "Well, we'll just have to finish this movie ourselves." And it's a, it's a mess. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's a it's a mess of movie. This one, this is why it's half. Yeah, I'm gonna look into that, and half. Yeah, all right then, is because uh, the fights look great. He looks, and it's good to see him back. And I'll watch anything that he's in for like the next few movies until it just gets out of control. But the thing that was trademarked for Ong Bak was that he did his own stunts and the stunts were real and and the protector was like, eh, there's a few, you know, not as real stuff. And this one is hardcore, like he's on a CG bike. <laughs> there's this great stunt in the trailer where he it's the classic, like he's on a motorcycle and there's like an oil tanker and you drift underneath it. Mm-hmm. And I think he does the drift underneath for real, but then when they show the, the cutaway shot from like from afar, the oil tanker explodes. <laughs> Like, I don't know, maybe it's a different oil tanker, but like he drifts under oil tanker and then the oil tanker explodes and it's like one of the like weakest explosions. (laughs) Like it really, it's really bad. And the other thing too is that in Thailand, it was 3D because he's the biggest movie star in Thailand and their huge big budget movies are actually like the equivalent of $15 million for us. And that's like a, you know, Sundance movie. movie, That's like an indie quote unquote indie movie. But for them, it's a huge blockbuster and they don't have all the special effects houses, so it's like huge, awesome special effects for them. And then we see it, and it's just you know, yeah, it is. we're Michael Bade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
it's awesome to see him back, and uh, the fights look great. And the other thing is that one of the nieces, as I mentioned in the story, she's played by uh, uh, Yi Yinin G, uh, Jija. I forgot her name. Can you order that? At a you can order that <laughs> at uh, a massage parlor. <laughs> At what <laughs> massage parlor? Oh, uh, she's the wonderful, the wonderful, wonderful actress that's in Chocolate, which is another Thai <gasps> oh. action movie, which is also on Netflix. And if you have not seen the movie Chocolate, not Chocolat <laughs> with uh, Johnny Depp, but Chocolate, the Thai movie, um, was but, that, that was also directed by uh, that was directed by the same guy mm-hmm. um, that did Ung Bak, and uh, that movie's about a girl uh, who. I was about to say she has Asperger's. Yeah, I was going to say. No, but she does. <laughs> she's autistic. No, she's autistic. It's the same thing. It, it really is. Uh, you have Asperger's, right, Josh? They both start, they both start with A's. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Yeah. Works for me. I eat they, both. They're special. They're That's what it is. Uh, that gone. movie's awesome. It's a girl with uh, Alzheimer's, and she, <laughs> she, she's pretty awesome in that movie. So it looks great. I'm excited. Um, so, go, like, <laughs> so for this. This week's topic, this week's, yeah, I'm looking at that topic, actually comes from the fact that in the original uh, Tom Young Goon slash The Protector, mm. like I said, they stole his elephants, and he went to go back in his elephants, and as it so it turns out, his fighting style made specifically for that movie was an elephant fighting style. He fought, like, elephant style. I thought it was Thai kickbox. I thought it was Muay Thai. It's, it's Muay Thai, but he modified it, and he actually gave it a name, and it was, like, elephant, it was... Because, like, when he hooked his arms, it was like the tusk. Yeah. 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 Is there, like, a cool elephant fight where they're on top of elephants? And I don't know. Have you, have you ever seen Tom Young Goon, the, the Protector? Have you no, seen that movie? Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's great. Like, it's silly, but fuck, it's awesome. And, yeah, elephants, I don't want to spoil it. It's fucking amazing. It's really good. Um, he kicks the head off an elephant. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. Oh shit! It's great. I'll, I'll watch that movie instead. <laughs> <laughs> so that inspires this week's question: Is that homeboy made elephant style fighting? So the question is: uh, If you were to able to create a new fighting style that was based on animal, what, what animal would this fighting style be based off of, and uh, what would the uh, special move be? I, I would actually like uh, meerkat fighting style. Meerkat. Meerkat. All right. What's his name? Timon or Pumbaa? <laughs> Which one of them is the meerkat? Timon. <laughs> Timon is the meerkat. Yeah, okay. Pumbaa's a warthog. Okay, so Timon. Yeah, right. to be Timon fighting style, and so it's it's kind of like Snake because you know Snake, it's like the whole slithering arm type of thing, but it's a lot more. It has like more finesse and it's softer, and it's it's a cute girly fighting style, so only girls should use it. Like Tai Chi. Like Tai Chi, it's sissy fighting. Yeah, like on uh, <laughs> uh, on sidekicks. Remember? Yeah, yeah the the hot half yeah, Asian chick yeah, did yeah, Tai yeah. Chi, and it was like, yeah, it's girl shit. Yeah, but it, you know that part like in Kung Fu Panda where uh, the snake like rattles around on a uh, monkey's arm and it like flies out. Yeah, Lucy Liu. Yeah, it would be like that. That's how the fighting style would be. So the special move would be the Meerkat Hotel, where what? You know, like the show. The uh, show? Meerkat Manor, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> the move's called the Meerkat Manor. And so it the the arm, you take the arm and you slither it around, like almost like in a figure eight around that arm, and so it's like a spiral arm, and then you like break their arm. That the Meerkat sexy. Manor. Come Meerkat. Yeah. The Meerkat five finger point Meerkat style. Now, Meerkat the, Manor. I, I've always I've always liked the fact that the these fighting styles originated from uh uh, master martial artists that studied these animals, right? Right. A, a lot like the beast in uh, Kung Fu Hustle who lived with toads. Yeah. Right? And I think that I actually may have already invented this fighting style from uh, being friends with Regan for as long as I have, and I would invent Nat style. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nat, nat style. Nat. Fruit, fruit Nat style. <laughs> All right. Yeah? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where you're going. I've <laughs> adapted with with it because I was thinking, what is what is uh, the most annoying, <laughs> just kind of animal that you can't get away from? Can't hit them either. You man. can't hit them because they're too fast. And and again, like meerkat, yeah. like like the the landlord mm-hmm. uh, uh, from from Kung Fu mm-hmm. Hustle mm-hmm. Um, that. <laughs> When you try to push them away and hit them, they kind of just they go yeah. with your chi right. away from you right. and kind of lift up from the wind because you're so light. Yeah, and then psh, again, right in your face, right in your eye. But you're 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 so uh, stealthy that nobody else 
can see you except for the person that you're fighting, right? Because that's how quick and with their yeah. moves, like you adapt yeah. to their moves and adjust. And I like that because if you're fighting that person and they don't see you, they look like an idiot. Exactly. Like when you're to trying to swat them, yeah, like you're trying to swat them away. I'm like, what is he doing? He, he looks like an idiot. He's yeah. fighting. Yeah. Right? And then he's just getting his ass kicked, and then I can just eat all the fucking trash <laughs> I want. Until I come, until <laughs> I show Wait, up. What? Yeah, that's why, would my you, why would you eat all the trash? You don't have to eat the trash. But that's the benefit of Nat style, dude. <laughs> Until I show up with a spray Nat bottle style. filled with nail polish remover and a, and a and lighter. A, and a, yeah, that's my only weakness is, is, is fire. Open flames. Yeah, yeah. just burn. Yeah. Nat style, dude. Gannat style. Gannat style. Gannat style. You have a special yeah. move? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's called the... Um, <laughs> it's called the fruit slu- uh, <laughs> the t- 10 weeks fruit ten slushy. 10-week fruit slushy cup. <laughs> <laughs> the old it's Sonic. Called, That's it's where I live. Lemon Ryan. I live in this giant <laughs> Sonic cup with with the with the top part kind of bitten off and a drawing of a cat uh, a cat fucking a dog in in crude pin and, on the side and these these strawberry crunchies and then it goes I want your ass meow. <laughs> That's what I see. That's good though. Yeah. That's a good style. Gnat style, dude. Gnat style. Or Gnome style. Yeah. Uh, Sagnat. Uh, my fighting style is called the Four Fighting Fish Kung Fu. Got it. Um, it has four different elements to it, all of which are represented by a certain fish. Mm. Um, there's the puffer fish, which I think you guys are all familiar right, with. Right, right. Oh, the archer fish. I don't know if you guys know about that. Is that this, an animated fi- fish on FX? No, 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 no. It's an actual fish that um, it spits water at insects on leaves to knock them off. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen those. Seen those. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's the angler fish, which is the one that has a light bulb on its head, essentially. Yeah, the one in Finding, Finding Nemo. Yeah. And then the fourth fish. Yeah, exactly. Finding yeah. Nemo. And the, the one fish on Finding Nemo. The fourth <laughs> The fourth fish is the flying fish. Now oh, they, those birds? Yeah, the bird fish. <laughs> so Can you order those at a Thai restaurant? They that all, no, that doesn't even, I'm sorry, that doesn't even make any sense. It's flying like a, fish. That's not a good callback at all. It's not even... What the is flying that? Fish. Right. Flying, it's flying, a, fish. flying fish. Right. Flying fish. They fly fish. Okay. Oh, yeah, you want flying rice? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Fly fish with so, rice. No, no, that's not where I was going you go, with you that. You go to Ruby's and get the flied fish. <laughs> no. Ruby's Rue and Pratter. No. 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 Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> Just as a racist, dude. God damn it. They serve this fish on uh, on flights, right? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Derivery. Here's right, the, guys. Here's, okay. King so it's, Kong China. It's a four prong style <laughs> from all of these different fish. Right, right. So the first step in for fi- for fighting fish kung fu is you do the puffer fish, which is yeah. you get all right. swole yeah. and you think you try to make the guy go away just by acting by like a, tough, and that avoids exactly. real confrontation. I like it. So then, if that doesn't work and the dude still wants to fight, you move to archer fish, mm-hmm. which you spit the dude's face. But that would piss you off. That would make yeah, you know, but that's why I do. No, no, no. But but like you keep spitting in his face. Yeah, like, and can but, you imagine if you're trying to fight a dude and he's just. But it just keeps spinning your face. Swing but, at him. But like an anglerfish, it's not just spit, it's gleeking because you, 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 you can learn. Gleek. Yeah. Or if you want to throw some uh, Lucas in your mouth or some chili powder or Ooh, some Sally Moon and yeah. spit in his eye. I'd kiss a guy if he had oh, Lucas Come on. Spit. Okay. So let's say that doesn't work. The dude's still coming at you. So then mm. you move to anglerfish, which is you bait him with something, which is like either a watch or money, and you just kind of hold it up and go, look, look, here, man, here. Just take all my money, and if he looks at it, Pop, smack him in the face. All right. Got it. And all then, right. and then after you kind of just like sucker punch him when he's trying to reach for your Rolex or whatever, your phone or your yeah. money, then you do a flying fish, which is the flying fish. The reason they fly and they jump out of the water is to get away from predators, which basically means you just run off. That's the pussiest fighting style ever. <laughs> yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> It's, it's based on the four that fish. Is, that is the pussy fu- fucking fighting yes. move. What, you want to fight? You want to fight? Swole, spin. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. No, out of here. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, take my money. I'm gone. <laughs> I can do that now. I was wondering with the finale. I was like, this is building up to be something really. No, you just run off. <laughs> it's the it's the most non-respected fighting style. Yeah, in the, four and, fighting and fish Asian kung fu. community. Yeah, yeah, but you get Lenny Kravitz as the, as the, the soundtrack, though, when you're flying away. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you gonna go my way? <laughs> fly away. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I got to you. Yeah. Got to know. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, that badass soundtrack. Here's the I thing. fuck Lisa Bonet. <laughs> In most yeah. style. Most styles of fighting in kung fu, it's all about not fighting and non-violence. Yeah, mm-hmm. but so yeah. a lot Being of a bitch. A lot of mine is non-violent. <laughs> it's just we sucker punch. Except dude. for the sucker punch. Yeah. That's that's yeah. dick. Hey, he who lives. I'm defending through. myself. Exactly. Hey, just, be water. Exactly. <laughs> Josh, what's your fighting style? Oh man, y'all had some good ones. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with snail. All right. All right. And all my right. special move will be sensuality. Have you seen snails making love? They're asexual, I saw a, aren't they? No, they fuck. They fuck. <laughs> they like. I saw a documentary <laughs> with with Oprah Winfrey narrating in they, slow motion. They they make tender, sweet love. They get all up they, on each other. Yeah, they don't fuck. They make love. Why are we fighting? Let's fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be rubbing all over you with my tentacles. I think that could work. They have tentacles. They have whatever they do. The, the little two two little antennas. Their eyes. Did you see Turbo? <laughs> I know. Turbo's racist, dude. It is really racist. Everybody's Mexican in Turbo, right? Yeah. 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 Just like, uh, what's that movie with Matt Damon where everyone's Mexican? <laughs> Elysium. Um, uh, yeah, dude. Dogma. Uh, <laughs> I like it, dude. That's, I like Snail it. fighting. Yeah, these, why, why are we fighting? I was thinking fuck? about doing sloth originally. The, the, the actual three yeah. coat sloth. And just be really slow, but that's real though, oh, isn't that a real fight? No, no, no I don't. I don't think so. I was not just, uh, just eat a bunch of baby roots and shit and fucking. No, not that slow. <laughs> be retarded, strong. No, Kristen Bell fucking cries when she sees you. What? She, there's a thing in Kristen Bell, the actress. She, the her husband bought her a sloth and. Oh, Kristen her, Bell. Yeah, that's Kristen, Kristen Bale. Bale. I thought you were yeah, talking about Batman. Batman. Oh, Kristen Bale's got like two sloths. <laughs> yeah, up his sloths ass are the full. new uh, little mini chihuahuas. <laughs> sloths are the new ferrets. Pot belly pigs. Meerkats. Meerkats. Meow cats. All right, let's go to Facebook. <laughs> Albert Vasquez says, Plankton. The style would be very similar to Bruce Lee's philosophy since Plankton follows the current. If it were supernatural status, I would harness all of my inner Plankton to execute some Green Lantern style type attack. Gather a million Plankton to form a giant fist and deal a punch that would equal like a 60 hit combo. Bazinga. That's pretty sick. <laughs> uh, George Anthony says, pregnant stray dog style. <laughs> I talk a lot of crap, but no one would fight me because I feel too bad. <laughs> Plus, one of my eyes would turn gray. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure. R.I.P. Betsy from the, my neighborhood. That's it. It's very <laughs> Martinez just says, I don't think anybody's online. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, uh, all right, see you later. <laughs> so that's wait. You can't leave. You can't leave. So yeah, guys. Uh, Tony Jaw in Tom Yum Gung Two. Oh uh, wait, it's Tom Yum Gung Two. It's actually it's the Protector because the Protector comes out March twenty third on iTunes, May second in theaters. And again, I think we're not gonna get it here in town, but uh, I'll probably it's you can probably watch it illegally right now. I think it's out in Thailand or it was out in Thailand last summer. So we're getting it March twenty third on iTunes, and uh, I'm gonna look into that. With, yeah, yeah, because you know, for the, those who have never heard of Tony Jaw, but like to see some ass whipping, uh, I think all of his 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 two great three great movies are on Netflix: Ong Bak, The Protector. Ong Bak Two is lots of fun. Ong Bak Two is actually really cool. Um, the ending is hilarious. Yeah, Hanson man, and Chocolate. That's another fucking amazing movie on Netflix. On Netflix, yeah. Chocolate is on Netflix. I highly recommend it. It's lots of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna look into that. You like chocolate? I love chocolate. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Make some horny. Mm-hmm. Oh. Look out! Keep an eye out for the uh, uh, autism versus uh, Aspergers. No, no, no! no. It's uh, autism Threats. versus epilepsy. Yeah, autism versus epilepsy battle. Yeah, dude. And chocolate. And they fucking they, 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 they Eddie Gordo fight. What's it called? It's this differentially abled fight. Yeah, yeah, retard battle, man. <laughs> no, Larry. No, I'm Larry. not saying it. This is what they call it online. Really? Yeah, I made this whole thing. <laughs> I don't think anyone said that. Yeah, retard fight. <laughs> Go on chocolate. Because they're Thai. No. <laughs> Lady boys. No, okay, well, I'll yes. wait for you to get it in some way, and then I'll watch it. Yeah, you. yeah. Yeah, I'll watch it with you. I trust you about movies, man. No, you don't. No, I do. You do, yeah. Yeah. Jess box. Did you see World's End yet? Yeah. Okay, cool. I like it, dude. Hamster style. Hamster. You know... Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, that's I'm, so great. I've given up hamster style. <laughs> All right. Speaking of dads, now it's time for Dad's Cornered. Hit it, Rachel. Whoa. 
Daddy's corner takes control. It tells the owners about his kids. How some got to respect Stop counting coupons and get involved in Daddy's corner, bitch. So in this edition of Dad's Cornered, the thing is, we are now teaching the kids about um, cause and effect, right? Uh. About rewarding, right? And, and we've been doing it, you know, for a while. But the other day was a pretty bad day. Uh, for us at the Garza household, uh, Gunner, I had to actually uh, uh, punish him for the first time. Now, I've spanked him, yes. I've put him in timeout, yes. But uh, he threw uh, a bowl at a friend of his uh, face in daycare and busted his nose. What? So Damn. we had an accident report. Oh, oh, no. And so when he saw me, he was smiles and happy and wanted to go get uh, chicken fingers. And I said, after this, no, the, yeah, when I picked him up, so he didn't know that I knew. Oh, okay, right. But he knew he did something wrong because I said, "No, I heard you were mean to your friends," and he just started crying. He felt really bad, poor mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. And then same day, I I, I go to pick up uh, Mikey, and she got in trouble uh, for distracting her friends after acing this fucking math test, finishing first, getting a ninety six. But then being bored and then distracting the rest uh, of the class because happens. she had nothing to do. So she, she gets for being smart. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So she got in trouble. Gunner got in trouble. And so I said, okay, no TV. And the unfortunate thing with being, you know, a part of a two parent household where both of us work, the TV's babysitter. Mm-hmm. TV is like, all right, go to your room just mm-hmm. for a, a couple minutes just so we can relax. But then when you punish them, you're pretty much punishing yourselves yeah. too. Yeah. So you can't have my TV on. Exactly. You, so what do you what do you do? So they, you know, read books. They're still allowed oh, okay. to, you know, play with their toys and stuff like that. Right, but right. then they try to sneak and watch whatever we're watching. Yeah. Or television, so that means we turn off the TV. There was some okay, if I get three E's at school uh this week, uh will we be able to Go to the mall so I can buy. What did what did Mikey want? She wants a new iPod cover, right? Fancy. Mm-hmm. And so we've been striking these deals, and we and we've been doing it on and off, and 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 they've fit, and it's it's rewarding for good. Mm-hmm. You don't just punish for bad; you got to reward for good too. Right. So that that brings up this week's topic of Dad's Corner. What is the greatest negotiation you've ever had to make with your parents? Now. I've been uh, lucky enough uh, to be abandoned by my father when I was a child. Mm. And um, negotiations from a single mom really just aren't there. Really? Yeah. You don't got to do that. You don't got to negotiate. What? You're just like, Mom, I'm sorry. I need this. And that's it. Yeah. Because you don't have... I mean, your mom's got to be the disciplinarian, but she's still your mom. She's still nurturing. She's still whatever. And that doesn't go for all single moms because there's yeah, some hard-ass say, single moms. Uh, but I was a good kid. I had a single mom, too, so I know you feel that. Yeah. Like, you like, can get away with anything, then? You can't get away with anything, but you can probably get away with more. Like, she tries to lay down the law, but... Mm. But she's still your mom. Yeah. And she doesn't want you to be mad at her because the thing is, you're the only man in her life. <laughs> yeah. But does that except, she, for all, except for all those other dudes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but those guys don't count. <laughs> but doesn't that... They don't love. They don't love her either. That, I mean, not either. That guilt doesn't. Work. <laughs> like she can't use that guilt against you to get you. To yeah, do stuff. totally. Yeah, 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 yeah and, absolutely. And, and there, that is when it comes down when she's uh, fiddling around with a lawnmower and pretending like she doesn't know how to use it, and then you feel bad for her not having a man around. And you're like, I'll do it, mom, and she's like, <laughs> soaps. <laughs> so. <laughs> do you do you remember specifically any? No, I, I can answer the question. Oh, though. okay, okay. okay. So uh, my sister, you know, is ten years older than me. So by the time I was, you know, uh, eleven or twelve, she was a twenty-one, twenty-two year old mm-hmm. woman. So she drove me around a lot, did a lot of things for me that you know my grandma, you know, quit driving when I was a baby, and then my mom was at work. So I remember uh, we had a field trip. Uh, we were at Saint Cecilia's, right, Southside School. And we had a field trip. Wow, this this I forgot why we were there until right now, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. We had a field trip to Macrelis Mall, and we were given a tour by security. No way. Yeah, that, that just Wait. hit me. Really? That means all the, the teachers mall. are like part. Like that. Yeah, they're like, day. we're gonna go shopping. 
So I remember uh, the security from. I've never heard it. That's wow. Okay. It's true, and it just it was one of those memories that it just. Oh wow! They took us into the uh, where they had the cameras. Uh, they, this uh, is this is Bell's. Yeah, this no. is Mervin's. No, this is Woolworths, and if you notice, there's a cafe set up that's never open. Um, but no, they they showed us the cameras and they taught us. All the different ways that people steal and how mm. almost kind of like we're, we're going to you. catch yeah, you. Yeah, it's a scared straight sort of thing. Yeah, they mm-hmm. showed, they actually, and they had videos to show us. They showed us this woman putting uh, clothes at Montgomery Wards, right? Mm-hmm. She was putting clothes uh, in her baby stroller, like behind her baby. Right now. And so the security Classic. guards, yeah, were saying that like this is a low life. She's using her baby to steal, mm-hmm. and and we catch that, and don't and like don't take things that people give to you. Like if you're walking the mall and someone says, "Hey, hold this bag for me," so they're teaching us as kids not to do that. You know that there is a trick, and people still do it today. And, and I have uh, family members that are proud of this, not blood family members. I might add that uh, <laughs> stuff stuff in their bra. No, oh. they will g- give something to their kid. Walk out of the store before their kid, and then their kid will be like, "No, no, no, don't leave!" And then chase them, holding the item that they want to steal, and they just walk out after them. And so they're like, "No, babe, what are you doing? No!" And then they just take the thing, yeah. kind of like, "Oh, I didn't notice that my kid took this." If they were to get caught, and that awful. That's awesome. So anyway, so we were at Macrelis, and they let us go to Tilt, right? Yeah. I was playing hologram. I, I shot some a dad playing catch with his son. It was weird. <laughs> um, and then I played Pit Fighter. And it was the arcade Pit Fighter that had uh, the red, the blue, and the, was it green uh, joysticks? Yeah. Yeah, where you could be each one of the, of the Pit Fighter guys. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. Pit Fighter was my favorite arcade game at the time. So we only got like 10, 15 minutes, and I was kicking ass at Pit Fighter. Like, I kicked, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I was kicking ass at Pit Fighter. Yeah. And so I was so doing you, you the roundhouse the, kicks and you shit. You used the kickboxer guy. Yeah. Because he looked Mexican? I think so. He looked I think like everybody, me. Oh, yeah. Every, he looked well, like, no, because he did the kick, kick, fucking roundhouse kick. Yeah. Kick, kick, roundhouse kick. Go, yeah. Kick, kick, roundhouse kick. Yeah. Because there was a white dude, then there's that guy. Like he, white looked, dude. he looked Mexican, though. That's why I think that's why everyone liked him. I think I'm, I, I used him. Yeah. The anyway. white guy. Anyway, so I got a couple rounds in, but then we had to leave, and I was just so, like, pissed about it. So my sister picks me up. We're eating dinner at my grandma's house, and I said, I want to go back to Tilt. And I go, Fran, please, can you just take me to Tilt? Just come on. It's it's only 7 o'clock. You know, it, they're open. I have quarters. I have my own money. And my my grandma had this uh, molcajete filled with jalapenos, dry jalapenos that she was going to use for her salsa or whatever the next day. So I said, "Look, I'll do anything. I'll I'll bet you anything. I'll take a bite out of this jalapeno if you take me to tilt." And my sister goes, "You're you want to go that bad that you're going to bite that jalapeno? You're going to hurt yourself to yeah, like for our amusement." So she she just it was just me and her, and my my grandma was watching right, TV right, right, in the right. front. And uh, she was like, all right, all right, you know what? If you bite that jalapeno, I'll take you to tilt. So I take it, and I'm about to take this little bite, like, you know, that pussy south sider. Nah, you just you didn't say how big. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then she goes, no, bite it to here. Points to half the jalapeno. And I didn't have a fucking, I had a Nintendo. I didn't have my Genesis yet. Right, right. So I said, all right. <laughs> and I bit it. Because right. I really wanted to go. And as soon as I bit it, she goes, tomorrow. And I was like, nah, nah. I swallowed the jalapeno. And the secret is the dry ones really aren't that hot. Yeah. Like, you have to, was it from have churches? To, no, they were from the grocery store. Oh, okay. They they have to have water in them for them to be hot. These were dry, so they weren't hot at That's all. Not bad. Yeah. And so um, I go to my grandma. Grandma, she said I <laughs> bit the jalapeno. And then yeah. Fred's like, I'm on I'm already dressed for home in my night clothes da, da, da. and so my grandma being the fairest person that I've ever known in my whole life looks at my sister and says you made a bet 
He did what you told him to. Now take him to tilt. Uh, yeah. yeah. So did they hate you for that? Uh, you can like, ask her. She she knew that it was the right thing to do. Yeah. So Ooh. 15 minutes later, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> the best. No, I lost right away. <laughs> You lost I was against, so excited. Uh, that that uh, <laughs> the executioner. Yeah, dude. There was a girl. You lost against Percy. Uh, there wasn't a girl. Tanya, roller queen. That's bullshit. Buzz, pro she was wrestler. Really it, bro. Buzz was the main Connor, dude. Connor, karate champion. Connor was a karate champ. And Chief, then... ex bodyguard. Ex boy. Ty, kickboxing champion. Ty. Ty, Ty everyone yeah, used Ty. Ty was a shit. Kato. Third degree. Black Kato, belt. Yeah, but I like Ty though. He Ty was, was the best, shit. dude. So yeah, so that that's my negotiation story. The best. I was really trying to think of a story because I really didn't really again single mom for the first seven years as a kid, and then you know remarried having a stepfather, um, you know so it's the whole kind of like uh, you have the the single mom thing all the things you said about that carry through, but then you have stepfather who's wanting wants to like gain your trust you know mm-hmm. gain your love and all that stuff so it's kind of easy roads aside from you know having your toys thrown away. <laughs> um, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but it, you mentioning the tilt actually reminded me. This was actually a common negotiation, and th- and this is pretty good against about my me and my friends, my two friends. We did this to like we all did this to our parents. We negotiated that if they gave us X amount of money to go to Peter Piper, which was uh, at Macrelis, which isn't far from where you're at, that we would leave them alone for X amount of time because it was either go to. Peter Piper or have friends over. So somebody would have to have all the boys at the house eating food, playing games, you know, whatever. But if we all left and played Peter Piper, that's a big chunk of time where no one's around, no one's bugging them. So that was the negotiation. Can we have $10 or whatever? Which was like fucking gold. Yeah. $10 and quarters? I would get 10 bucks now. Huh? Yeah, like ten bucks now—that's a bunch of money. I wouldn't spend ten bucks at an arcade now. I yeah, guess well, fifty cent. Well, it won't get you far. Every Chuck game. E. Cheese—it'll get you fucking far, bro. Really? Yeah. Oh, every yeah. everything's one token. A yeah. token's a quarter. Really? Yep. Every, everywhere I go, like Pac Man's fifty cents. No, Mister Mr. Gaddy's—that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, Mister Gaddy's is cheap. So David Buster's sort of. Nah, dude. No. No, Chuck E. Cheese one enough? token for everything. Even yeah. like the even stuff pictures, that gives you stuff. Dude. Yeah. Even like pictures yeah. and you oh, get little nice. cards and stuff. Well, what's hilarious is that see this this is getting away from home. So like the same negotiation applies to when you're actually at Peter Piper with friends. Give us money so we can leave you alone. You know, you drink a pitcher of beer and you leave here. Here's go go over there. <laughs> Like leave us alone. We're talking about the boys. Yeah, or you just want to hang around because you like just fucking play around the Have table. Have you gotten to that point? Larry, beer at a pizza no, 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 place? no. Where you you just tell your kids like here, like here's some money. Go go away. Or, nope, not yet. Right. I'm too afraid of uh, child rapists and murderers. All right. So yeah. you'll never take them to Chuck E. Cheese. No, I take them to Chuck but E. Cheese. I follow around. them around like yeah, crazy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this you know, is a helicopter. Then that's what it's calling. Yeah, yeah puppy dog. <laughs> the mini, there's a common theme on Dad's corner. Time to change. Because you can lead walk to fucking Peter Piper through mm-hmm. that fucking Amen. dangerous ass fucking ghetto of a street. Yeah, Fair Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. South New Braunfels. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, I used to walk there all the time. Yeah. Uh, my negotiation was I always say I'm a third child. Uh, so I was three boys. My you are a third child. Why you say always say it? Yeah, I know. So, but I always it's a reoccurring theme. I always yeah. bring up the fact that I'm a third child. The three boys, older brothers. Like by the time my parents had me, basically they didn't really care anymore. They're just like, yeah, you're a boy. We've had two of you already. We get it. We know what you're gonna do. Whatever. Like you can't ex- you can't surprise us. So they gave me unlimited freedom. Like absolutely unlimited freedom talking about just walking around Mm -hmm. i would just be able to walk around during the summers at night around the neighborhood like after midnight to friends houses like just walk around in the neighborhood well you yeah you lived in a good neighborhood i live in an okay neighborhood um but still 12 years old 11 12 years old letting your kid just walk like can you imagine how old's mikey Came out on top there. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, it was pretty awesome. Good negotiation. So my brothers, when I was like eleven, so they're six and seven years older than me. They had just gone off to college, and when they found out, though, 
they were pissed because right. they had curfews, they had restrictions, they had all sorts of stuff, and they're like, yeah, but they're can... close together in age. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why. Yeah, and yeah, and they did bad stuff. I never did anything bad, but they were furious. They're like, oh, come on. How are you letting them do this? Why could you? We we never got that. Blah blah blah. And they got they got really upset. And so it became my mom was like, all right, all right, I'll we'll give them a, I'll give them a curfew. And my mom was like, all right, you have to be home by midnight. And then I was like, okay, okay. And so like that lasted a week. And then I was like, hey, mom, so is it okay if I stay out? All I can, how about I just call you? And just say, hey, I'm going to be staying out past midnight, and I'll let you know when I'm going to come home. This is like like 13. And she was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> and so then, once again, my brothers were like, this a year later, it goes by, and they find out that I'm still just staying out as late as I want. I'm not doing anything bad. I'm just hanging out with friends. And then, um, once again, they cause a big, uh, big, crazy, like, uh, get upset. My mom's like, all right, all right, all right. No, you can't stay out anymore but this is right around the time where people were wearing beepers like pagers yeah oh god damn it and it's sort of the cell phone mentality now of yeah. well how about you just get me a beeper or a pager <laughs> and then if you're ever worried about me you can just page me and i'll give you a call immediately and so she's like oh okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds so it, it's the whole negotiating of like not only am I getting a pager, so I at that time looked cooler, but it was a maroon one, man. It was sweet. Oh, nice, nice, dude. Nice. Was it a clear one or you can see the it insides of it? It was kind of clear, yeah. It was a ah, clear dude, one. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies you, hitting me up. Would yeah, you like, with would the, you like page bad words on with the oh, zero, yeah, With the 07734. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> so then it became that. I got a pager and I could just But stand. you know what this, what, what this trained you in? Uh, it, it trained you at a very young age to be independent mm-hmm. yeah, and to absolutely. be able to walk alleys in Asia all no, by that, yourself. Exactly. And that's what I, that's why I attribute it to the fact that now I just, I just like traveling alone and going off and just doing stuff is the fact that mm-hmm. they would let me that. Was scary. Give wasn't me it, that wasn't oh, it a little scary walking, walking by yourself? That was the, the 13 the, first, oh, first, second time we did it. Oh, man. Come on, man. It, I would. I, I, there's probably a couple times where I was a little bit. You hear a noise. A car drives by slowly. Yeah. Uh, this was like around the 90s when even even Gangs. in the northeast yeah. side there was there was drive by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was kind of scary. But like I said, I lived in a really decent neighborhood, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, and so that led to like me staying out all night and doing whatever the hell I wanted and just were you fingering chicks. Uh, not that age. No, no, no. Oh man, come yeah, on, I know. Larry, come I know. On. I just want to make sure, dude. Not that. A couple years later, sure. Yeah, um, but like twelve and thirteen now. No, God, I wasn't no, either. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> no. Um, when, when was the first time you fingered? God damn it, Larry. <laughs> uh, you don't have to answer that question. He can if he wants to. Come on. Uh, finger like does a thumb count? Yes. Anyway. Yeah, there's no, they, yeah. never got any finger. Well, anyway. So, and then there was another time where, because there's negotiating, and like we said, there's talking away out of stuff, but that was really the most of the negotiating was, and my dad always hated it. My dad hated it because he loved whooping us. Like, he loved whooping us. Into it. But I was really good at negotiating, and he would always, in hindsight, get ups, even more upset that he didn't whip me because when he realized I kind of, Negotiated, my, negotiated my way out. Did you of, get a bigger whooping? No, I never did because it was you always have to just catch him at, uh, not at the peak of anger. Yeah, and so as long yeah. as you could get past that peak, you're good. And so I'd always get past that peak, and then he'd get a little bit more upset. But at that time, it was like, uh, what do you call it? Um, where you can't get charged for the same thing twice. Double, double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah, it was all double Jeopardy at that point. Yeah, so, yeah, dude. Yeah, Morgan Ashley Freeman. Judd, dude. Ashley Judd. Whew. Joshua John, Pullen. Morgan Freeman. All right. Uh, this kind of ties into. I was talking a little bit about this before the podcast, but uh, I used to work at my grand, um, grandparents' meat market Yeah, when yeah. I was like during the summer between the ages of like 10 and 16. And, you know, we'd cut up meat and all that. And when we went door to door, I'd have to go with my grandfather and we'd go to every single door in the house and it was daunting. It was terrible. We'd have to knock on the door. I had this speech. I had this piece of paper I'd show. But at some point when I was like 14 or 15, I was like, listen, I got this. Just give me the van. You're Listen, man. Now. I got. I got. I don't have a driver's license, but it's like it's Victoria. Who cares? Listen, <laughs> it's like twelve people that live here. Who cares? 
Uh, like, just give me the van. I'll, I'll, I'll go door to door and I'll do it. I'll do it. And he was like, you know what? You got it. And he gave me the van. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to every door. Are you kidding yeah. me? This is, this is awful. It's hot out. It's Texas. This is awful. Yeah. So what would I do is I, I would I would just drive along and look for people that were already barbecuing, and, yeah. uh, like a group of Mexicans. And say, hey, nice. roll down my window. I had my uh, '70s shirt on, my ponytail back then. Say, like, hey, you guys like sausage? I just yell it out the window. No labels on the van, <laughs> <laughs> and no one ever said anything about it. They just come up. They'd, they'd buy like. Fifty dollars worth of food, and I I drive around the rest of the day. No question. Like I went door to door. Did you make more money doing that than he did going door to door? Yeah, R- I streamlined that but shit. No, exactly. That's awesome. That was that's <laughs> I, brilliant. It was, so he was, was, it was just awkward going to different houses. Yeah, People didn't absolutely. want it. You know? But when they're cooking, you know they're looking for some good from meat. extra meat. Yeah. So at my prepped, barbecue, yeah. I was like, ah man, if only we had links or something. Yeah. Hell yeah. Especially if you're kind of having a pretty decent price. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, co- here comes the Five pulling links. boy with Five the sausage. Links. The pulling boy, yeah. When you order pulling sausage, you don't just get a link, you get a whole ring, ladies. Yeah. Yeah, pulling pork. <laughs> yeah. <okay>. yeah. <laughs> it's all greasy. Would you unload it all in like just a couple of different spots and then you'd be done for the day? Yeah, and three, hang or, out? three or four and my cousin would come with me and we'd just drive around. And just hang out for the rest of the day? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. Does your grandpa still have the meat market? Yeah, still in there. Uh, several notable comedians have eaten my sausage. No way. Yeah. I would love to taste Oh, your next sausage. time you go down to, uh, what do they got there? The Gecko? Next time you go down there? Yeah. What does that mean? The Golden Gecko? That, that venue? And where's yeah. that? Oh, Victoria. I'll uh, do where, Victoria. Is that where you eat the barbecue? That's where, that's where the meat market is, Victoria, Texas. No, no, no. I'm saying, but what's the name of the barbecue? Or what's the name of the meat market? Pull and Meat. It is pulling that meat. That is the fucking yeah, this. most badass Are meat you market. Serious? No, there's a, there's a reason why I like puns so much. They had a sign that said, come again on the door, and another sign that said, you can't beat our meat. And yeah. they, they never Are you acknowledged it. They, they were super Christian, so they never acknowledged it. What do you think and I would just be laughing with my cousin, going, you, Are you kidding me? You <laughs> think it's, it's great. Do they, do you, were, I, <laughs> do, they couldn't have been that oblivious. Oh, they were. Their Are last name's pulling. Pulling meat. You, it's, you can't it's like beat our meat. meat. Imagine yeah. come again. Yeah. No, no, I get Spell that. Spell you too. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> oh my god, jerk us off. <laughs> you like dicks? Eat some sausage. <laughs> Choke on our sausage, Choke dick. Our sausage yeah. dick. <laughs> Rub my penis till it ejaculates. <laughs> come farts. <laughs> come farts. <laughs> Carts. Carts. Yeah, Carts. Cartwheels on my pant legs. <laughs> Pulling meat. Pulling Pull meat. Yeah, that's great. Can you please? Do you have t- yeah, well, yeah, yeah, t-shirts. t-shirts with all that saying? <laughs> it used to have a website. But. Dude, your grandpa would love it. But I honestly, red shirt. Yeah, exactly. Simple white, red t-shirt. Like white print. I have a picture on my Facebook somewhere with me in front of it. In front dude, of the- dude, and you sell them, dude. Sell them at shows. Just I sell sausage God. at shows? No, no, no. Sell the shirts and say, pulling meat, can't beat our meat, come again, yeah. Victoria, Texas on the bottom. <laughs> I would buy the fuck out of that shirt. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even because kidding. because it's real. That's yeah. what makes it even better. Because if it was just like, oh yeah, what a cheesy pun. No, yeah, but you put Victoria in Texas, I'd, I'd switch it out with my Bucky shirt and stuff. Yeah, like that. I'd yeah. wear the fuck out of that, dude. Huh. Yes, pulling meat. Please make those t-shirts. We'll do. Yeah, because and you would be promoting your family yeah. business. That's so cool. That is fucking really cool. All right. When they hear this podcast, they'll be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rush? Huh? No, no. Turn Wait, on the, the radio. radio. <laughs> the phonograph, yeah. They're phonographing <laughs> our, our podcast. podcast. He <laughs> wasn't going door to door. <laughs> They're mad. <laughs> <laughs> they just now realized. I told him to go door to door. The pulling way. <laughs> Honey, I'm putting on some tea. What was I'm looking into that today? <laughs> Avid listeners. <laughs> That's funny. I have ordered that from a Thai restaurant. <laughs> oh. More like Tom Young Gook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Facebook. <laughs> Why are you implying that Josh's parents are racist? No, you're a racist. <laughs> Nat, uh, Nat style. That's hilarious. All right, uh, Facebook. <laughs> Uh, we asked about the negotiation with the parents. Raul Rangel says, when I was in third grade, I made the deal to get A's and B's on my next report card. If I did it, I got a pizza, and I'd be able to rent Smokey and the Bandit and Garbage Pail Kids movie. So I got one show. C, but they still made good. 
Yeah, one oh, band, the bandit. George Anthony said, I wanted a Super Soaker 5000. It was 20 bucks. I saved 15 and asked my pops for five. He told me to wash and vacuum his car and clean a house for a week straight. It was 1993. <laughs> Seemed about right for a Super Soaker 5000. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> for five bucks. For five bucks. <laughs> fuck that noise. Man, so Super Soaker would fuck shit up when they first came out with those. You know what I used to grab when the dudes would have fucking Super Soakers? The hose. <laughs> I always would win. Hose wins, yeah. Yeah, every an unlimited supply, yeah, and, and they need you to refill, and you're uh, immobile, so you just stand there like, Did come you on, you don't no. have to chase anybody. It depends on how, sh- but like, if you it had a shitty hose, though, you gotta have. Nah, Did you have the gun on the end with thumb, the handle? Thumb, thumb, thumb. Oh, I just block it. Yeah. Thumb. Yeah. Pinch it off. yeah, yeah. Or you would ever bend it and then yeah, and then oh. wait and then yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. unleash the pill. <laughs> and then ah, oh, and you do you make it easy to say water gun, dude. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna put bleach in my super so good eat. No. Uh, Bobby Smith said my parents <laughs> extended the chance to live at their house longer if I paid them 200 bucks a month. I stayed till I was 28. Yeah, nice. uh, he is currently <laughs> 27. Here and Albert Vasquez says, like an idiot, I found a buyer for our Atari so I could buy a Sega Genesis. I halfway regret it. That's yeah, not bad. Dude, Streets of Rage too. Yeah, but it's about like, oh well, no, nah, I don't have the, the, the Atari. Atari. Yeah, but you know, yeah, but back then, dude. Then. Oh, yeah. Totally up Back then, dude. It was dumb, dude. It was dumb, dude. It's like, bloop, bloop, versus... Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah was like, that's probably the best <laughs> summation. Bam, 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 bam. That's the evolution. Atari yeah. and Sega Genesis. The yeah, evolution ever... of video games, yeah. So, yeah, man. Dad's cornered. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Parody, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Today's edition of Hey, That's Not Funny. I put a link up the... Uh, the sciencemag.org, science magazine, about a exhibit at the London's British Museum about where they surveyed more than 20,000 years of history of female figurines. This oh, is dating wow. back to the Ice Age um, from archaeological sites from Russia to France. They have the earliest such objects, which include the famous Venus of Willendorf from Austria, which is it's this bulbous thing it's this like bulbous woman yeah thing oh with, yeah like, big i dated old... her i think yeah <laughs> yeah that yeah. was on uh she uh, looks like hellboy too thank you yeah, yeah she's a uh, very san antonian um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've seen her at condaleja <laughs> yeah <laughs> met at graham central station oh god yeah. special i've seen her every day at at the gym she serves me brisket tacos at bro miller's um and then there's these uh other awesome i don't know they have all sorts of things where these are like the That's profile butt. these are profile views of women if you go to the link i posted it's a big old booty yeah big old booty and it's so it's all these what was considered yeah, um yeah. some of they call it the quote earliest pornography uh back in the day it's just the all of these artists uh sculptors um but back then fat bitches were the shit though can you imagine, man, how healthy they was? Voluptuous? Yeah. Yeah, childbearing hips. And you got money. You got titties. You got yeah. yeah. And um, so it, it, it uh, yeah. dates back 35,000 years about yeah. what men found or what these artists and men found to be like that is it to them. Like right. that is the perfect yeah. physical female form that I'm going to cut it into a statue. You know, I am going to... Like in blood and blood, like paint them like an Aztec goddess yeah. to like commemorate how beautiful. I'm gonna paint you, mommy. Uh, they are. Oh, so it, uh, it has some other pictures on it on the thing, and it uh, it just talks about kind of you know the old school earliest female nudes, which brought to you my uh, question, uh, my podcast question for today, which was what person physically embodies the perfect female form to you. It can be real, fictional, historical, artwork, or a combination of both. So it can be like someone's face with someone's body. Mm. Um, mm, God damn. So, um, but does anybody have any, want to chime in? Does sure. Uh, I, I can okay. go, I'll go first. Uh, it's dorky, but I don't care. I think the perfect woman's body is actually the classic Street Fighter character, Chun-Li. Ah, and, nice. And here's, here's the breakdown. An OG Chun-Li, like original, old school Championship Chun-Li. edition? Yeah. Um, the reason being is because it, it, everything about women that you would think of is in Chun Li in the terms of she's strong, right? And and the thing that immediately people go, "What do you know Chun Li for?" It's her giant thighs. ass fucking thighs, yeah. yeah, thunder thighs, thunder thighs, right? So not only is that hot and in like 
like oh fuck but it's also <laughs> but also from like a, from going back to like a like kind of like fertility and womanhood and all that stuff it's it's about you know, childbearing hips like yeah. it, i think like womanhood when i see those hips not just oh fuck yeah but also oh man she's going to have like a strong kid and everything else about her is awesome she's hot and asian and strong and all that good stuff but really it is the the hips and the thighs being not just pure muscle, but they have like it's it's a balance of both of being smooth and like what a woman you kind of think is, but also strong. Like it's a good balance, I think. To to transition from that, it's gonna sound corny as shit, but post baby mom butt. I'm all about mom butt. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah, post, post baby, baby mom, mom butt. butt. And Andy to me right now. Post two kids, I know a lot of women feel self conscious about themselves, but to a man, to a father, to the most fucking virile kind of instinctual kind of attractiveness, mm-hmm. right now it's that. I remember the uh, and I got pretty pretty mama in his hands. Remember that 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 song? And you He's had got the, the whole yeah. world in his hands. Yeah, but the oh, other God. lyrics uh, got big strong daddy. In his hands, but then they did Pretty Pretty Mama, <laughs> and it was this like you would do this hourglass silhouette, and basically, you know, like a mom's figure, and it's titties and booty is basically what you do with your hands. And right now, she's at that point to me where it's awesome, and she's always like, "Well, I'm not, you know, a size zero anymore, you know." And I'm like, "Well, you were 17," and she's like, "Well, you liked me back then. I was also 17. I am not attracted to 17 year olds right now." I like women. I am attracted to women. So right now, Andy is on point to me. Like I would, I would make a statue of her. And if you want me just to be like a chauvinistic dick, Katy Perry. I know it's a cheesy one, right? Because right? she's popular or whatever. But to me, dark hair, light skin, colored eyes, big natural breasts, small waist, no six pack, big butt, big thighs. That to me, right there. Bingo, bango. Yeah. Cool. See, uh, for me, I'd want someone who you don't know what they are when you immediately look at them. Like, I'm talking like complexion and face wise. Oh, you mean race? You don't know what race like they race, are? Like race, exactly. Okay, like, okay. I want, like, one thing. Like I, Chuck Corot from fucking the Spurs? Oh, yeah, sort of. I mean, but Son not. A that's, a, oh, that's the gonerous thing you could say. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. But, like. Winner, winner, chicken so dinner. Like, Fuck you, Chuck. Like, one thing I like when. When when traveling is <laughs> no one knowing what you are, ah, you know, yeah, like I because you like, can pass for Italian exactly, or Greek, Greek, Spanish, any yeah, of those sort right. of darkers. If I have a beard, maybe, I, and it was dark enough, I could pass for maybe like Middle Eastern. You like, live by sack, don't you? Like in what? <laughs> in Italy, they're like <laughs> they know exactly where I'm from. From San Antonio, yeah, Fulton, yeah, you live by sack, yeah. bro. Um, so like not too white. Not too dark, sort of. Com- and I'm trying to think of like who could pass for all of those things. My goddess is Maria Menounos. Yeah, see, that's what I thought you were gonna say. See, but to me, she's also a little too skinny about like perfect female form. That's why yeah. I chose Katy Perry. Because and see, that's uh, my I was thinking like like I don't like fat like don't almost like God. <laughs> like uh, someone like a Sofia Vergara, where she's actually light haired. Like her no, natural her, her hair is blonde, is blonde yeah. mm-hmm. but she looks good with dark hair. So Katy Perry too, she's a natural no, Kate, blonde. Yeah, but she, she's way too white for me. You know, no, I, I Snow White was like, I think my answer for the what cartoon character would you freaking smash? Cause, and I yeah. think like Snow if you white? put like yeah. if you take Oscar, but like I was trying to think of someone also who's kind of Asiany looking, and Chun Li is actually. Not super Asian-y looking. She's kind of white looking. She's, she's anime looking. That's that's the whole thing. She it is To them, their eyes are normal. <laughs> it's a real comment, by the way. Yes. <laughs> They're giant. So when they eyes. paint Americans, their eyes are fucking super huge. huge. So I, I, what sucks is I'm trying to think of the freaking answer. It's been really hard. Lucy Liu? No, she's too too Asian, <laughs> too lazy, eyes. too Asian. But that was thinking like, but but <laughs> as far as she's lazy eyes, as fuck, dude. Yeah, that's not like Liz Tyler. Eyes. Oh, Liv man. Tyler, there we oh, go. Oh, man, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. F Liv Tyler. No, oh, no way. She's like oh, lazy-eyed. lazy-eyed. Oh, but I thought, but she's kind of, oh, great. Oh, man. No, so I was thinking like... um, Like, like uh, Asia Carrera, the porn star? Sort of like a half 
Asian yeah. sort of, but not too much. What there is a there is a porn star. What's her name? London. London. Yes. Good call, Larry. Yeah, I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, that's Lon- exactly. London Keys or something like that. Oh, is that man. what it is? You know, that's, yeah. I'll, I'll, hold on. Uh, th- but I think that might be exactly. Who- oh, I can't look. Yeah, let's look I, at I porn. Was, I was gonna. Yeah. Bring- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Larry, Larry, now we gotta go. Larry's now favorite podcast, thing to do right. will be pulling up porn and showing it to us. You're talking about uh, uh, college coed cream shots, right? You pulled it up. Hmm? Uh, but yeah, like her, because she's actually. Kind of thick. She's very thick. She's thick. She's not too Asian looking. Yep, I got it right. So yeah, I'm gonna go with London Keys. Is it? They're they're raunchy pictures. Let me see it. Oh, she looks really Asian. And well, yeah. there you go. That's a nice picture of her. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see it. She's just kind of like a. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, amazing. Yeah, she's, you like her. Like she's. Thumbs that's up. a really good picture, actually. I really like that picture. Yeah, of her. she's floppy. What do you mean? She's like all over the place. What does that mean? It's floppy doppies, dude. Oh, there's some terrible pictures of Spango Hangles. Here. That's what I'm saying. But you're looking at like a setup pictures with too much makeup. Yeah, and yeah, hair yeah, yeah. Dyed. Like her just every porn star that takes headshots. Actually, she's well, kind of they look kind of super <laughs> Wait, trashy. Yeah, I, yeah, the pictures. The not pictures. Like, yeah. So yeah, I'll, let's just go. I'll go with London Keys. Man, she's that's thicker. She's thick. Like she could be Mexican in that picture. Totes. Sure. You know. So oh, I, I, I just like a girl that I yeah there you go right there <laughs> Some old way to like this this uh, uh, <laughs> just a, a send girl me that, that I could take yeah. anywhere <laughs> that won't get like because if you take like a a blonde haired blue eyed white girl yeah absolutely perfect to like anywhere in She's Asia or the Middle East they're gonna stand the f out you right. Know? But in a lot of other places, like you can take a darker skinned girl and like exactly like her, where it's olive tone, she's not going to stand out completely unless you like go to Russia. But even in Russia, they have Asians and stuff around mm-hmm. there. So why don't you want them to stand out? I just I don't ever like standing out. Like I like being able to blend. So yeah, we're gonna go with London Keys. London not Keys. a lot of makeup. I think Is she just regularize what I'm looking for. Is there any Lenny, London Keys Chun Li cosplay? Oh, jeez. Look it up. <laughs> yeah. Find out it's going to be an eight hour podcast. Yeah. All right. Google, Google, Google. Yeah. Nope. Thanks for the call, Larry. London Keys. Yeah, man. That's what I'm here for. God damn. God bless you. Sticky Wicky. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah. I've got this Cali Cox uh, fleshlight. I think that pretty much physically embodies everything that I need. So. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what's her name? <laughs> Callie Cox. Callie? Yeah. Callie Cox. Yeah, I think that flashlight really covers it all. I can yeah. put it, it's, I can put it in my pocket. You know, it's nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's all you need. No, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Physi- that, 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 that that physically embodies that the, the physically, perfect. Physically literally physically yeah. embodies yeah. the ju- Callie you just Cox? Would- her? Yeah. Yeah, but he's got her notes. You just I got, I got her burginer. <laughs> so you don't want any part of her uh, other well, because, part of her. Uh, what do they call it? A burginer? Because it's cold out. Hey! All right. <laughs> Bundle up. Cold front. <laughs> Nipply. So you're come I- inside. You can't jack our dicks. <laughs> your ideal woman <laughs> is, <laughs> is Callie Cox's vagina. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> cool, I think. Let's, don't get me wrong. The rest of us are all right. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look how perfect that picture is. That's great. She's <laughs> playing volleyball. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. A little hunchy in the back. All right, yeah. Flattering. Who doesn't like a vagina? Mom butt. Yeah, dude. Mom butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mom butt. Did you invent that term? That's a new thing. I think. I've Who's that? that? Is that one of the I'm challenger kinda, victims? Kind of into mom butt now. <laughs> you turn. You turn, man. I think I'm on the, Is that one of the challenger? Check my Google yeah, history. Like, <laughs> what defines? You're a, in the crack. Yeah. <laughs> what defines a mom butt? Mom, uh, mom butt. Does like, it have to be a mom? <laughs> ju- and what? mom jeans. It has to be a mom no. jeans. No. Mom no. butt is the younger moms, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Who are, are still like adjusting. 1920? Yeah. Well, I can't say younger moms in San Antonio, right? Yeah, that's cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, but like, it's real. That's but sad. Like 20, tw- in their 20s. Right, right, right. Like right. 20, 23 to, to 28. Mm-hmm. That if they had a kid or two mm-hmm. that used to be skinny as fuck. Mm-hmm. And they're now they now have woman bodies, yeah, but shit. they're still trying to wear skinny jeans. Yeah, and you got mom butt. All right. Yeah, not like our mom's butts. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah of course yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like 
It's like, yeah, look at that. It's Mamba right there. I just, I, I work on the South Can't Side. Can you say milf butt or something like that? Because mom mom butt, butt just, Yeah, because mom butt just. Like, yeah, I'm checking out your mom's yeah, butt. Mom, yeah. Yeah. Milf mom, butt. Milf butt. But the mom, I think mom butt, mom jeans. Yeah, mom good butt. point. Milf butt. Milf butt. Milf no, butt. but it's. Then it's just dumb. Because the, the term milf to me means like 40 year old hot chick. Mm, that's I'm, cougar. I'm just talking about a young cougar chick. Cougar is 40 years old. Uh, that's milf. I like milf just mean, just milf just means you have kids. No, exactly. exactly. So she can be my point. She can be nineteen, twenty. Young technically. Chick, yeah, young. That's chick. why milf I think is fine. Milf butt. No, because, because milf not, is a broader term. Yeah, Google milf and see what comes it's a broader up. You're term not going to get some college chick with big heads yeah. well, because she doesn't have kids. No, that's what I'm saying. Regardless, cougar and milf, as far as internet terms are concerned, mean <laughs> okay. the same We're stuff. Going strictly by your sticky wiki. Sticky wiki, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, mom butt. Oh, man, I don't have safe search on. It's hilarious. All right. Uh, Facebook, some answers on who people think their perfect physical female form is. Um, good, good George gravy. Anthony says Salma Hayek, when she was the vamp, specifically, when she was the vampire queen dancing with that snake. That's yeah. Voice, figure. Thick ass. Thick, yeah, ha- no, That's hair. Thick ass hair. Yeah. I just read thick ass. Yep. She got mad at Tom Savini for staring at her butt. Uh, who wouldn't? How do you get mad at that? Exactly. I thought that was the whole point of like the role. Like that's the direction. Yeah. Okay. Tom Savini. Tom Savini's just, fucking. Uh, Tom Savini stab, stared her butt. Yeah. Who? Wouldn't? She got mad at him. Yeah. That's Tom ridiculous. Savini told me that. That's cool that I'm I just put said this that. Pizza sentence. in front of you. Don't eat it. Yeah. Look at that ass. Yeah. Uh, Hobita <laughs> Megan says Cat Dennings. This is a female perspective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She says Cat Dennings. For so long, I believed it was Marilyn Monroe because she embraced her female curves and form no matter what size. But now it's Kat Dennings because she has real curves of a woman and she embraces them even having grown up surrounded by a world telling us that supermodels should be a size zero. Oh, yeah, man. She just looks like an uncomfortable chick at Claire's. Who? Kat Dennings. Kat Dennings? Yeah. yeah. Like she's not used to her tits. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Garrett Williams says Sophia Vergara. Mm-hmm. Perfection. Yeah, she paid a lot of money. Andrew Oliva says Aubrey Plaza. Simple but beautiful. I like Aubrey Plaza. I mean, she's cute. Yeah. But I don't know if she personifies like female. But I, I guess to that person, like it's it. all yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Stacey Medina says Sandra Bullock's legs. What? Mm. Salma Hayek's torso. Interesting. Yeah. Rachel McAdams' face. Ugh. Scarlett Johansson's lips on Rachel McAdams' face, I guess. All right. Oh, okay. And Jennifer Lawrence's personality. I don't care. That, she goes. I don't care that you didn't ask for that. That's as far as I've thought about. Yeah, because this is the thing. Frank, is like Frankenstein. The, the, com- the question may come off <laughs> as like, what Sewn do you up. think is the sexiest woman? But that's no, not really it's the physical. Point. It's, right. it's what personifies. If you were to carve your statue, right? Obviously, Josh's would just be a vagina. <laughs> it's going to be a tube that you could put your dick in. It's got, the, it's got the feelers at the end. <laughs> <laughs> the cilia. That's you've already got yours down. <laughs> You know, going, going back to Stacey's, what, she, what if she means like literally like like a Frankenstein of, you should of a woman? Like shop like, exactly what she requested. I think and that's why I signed her for the legs She created legs. the perfect. Incident. So they can't have any tits, apparently. Oh, no, that's, her torso, Sam Hayek's torso. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. so her bust. That's going to creep me out. Uh, Way to go. George Anthony threw in a second answer. He said, be Arthur. Smart, funny, with a strong jaw. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. Uh, Albert Vasquez says, it's hardly ever physical with me. It's always about a girl's positive outlook while being logical and considerate. I once witnessed a girl yeah. who I knew was a server at a restaurant tip a bagger at HEB. It was the classiest thing I'd ever seen a girl do. Instant attraction. What a fag thing what to the, say. How are you going to carve that, you dick? Mm, yeah, Albert. once again, it's that's the thing. You read, you know, if you read the article yeah you stupid it's, shit it's not it has to be about physical with yeah. this question uh, the point. I never if I have my, power, my uh, AIDS he doesn't sound like that he does not sound well he does like that when I read that no uh, oh, I love a girl for your person no <laughs> yeah, there we go. as long as she has eight arms <laughs> <laughs> Albert doesn't sound like that. Uh, Raul Rangel said Chaz Bono. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and Felix Cruz says Salma Hayek. So. Yeah, see Salma Hayek. I'm not gonna lie, Salma Hayek. Dude. Well, not, but once again, she kind of fits in. She's that got sort that next thing that she. Yeah, she. Yeah. You, if you took her, like, if you put her in a freaking like, uh, like a sarong or whatever, or so even like a burka sort <laughs> yeah, of thing, infinite right. scarf. Right? No, I just but I've never heard a sarong of. as well. Like any, like Asian, like you, she could pass. Yeah, for a she lot could of put things. the dot in her head, and, and you'd free totally the eyebrows, be, yeah. and yeah, I'd smash that hairy bush. Uh, so yes, yes, yes. Very good answer. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah, like amazing, yeah, dude. Yeah. Maria Menounos. Is yeah, like, London yeah. Keys. London yeah. Keys. Man. X hamster in that later. <laughs> <laughs> 
you and she just that. Fucking, you just that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gargle it. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky wiki instead of Google. Gargle that Go- shit. Gargle that shit. Let's, you know, gar- let's do a gargle image search. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, gargle is not a real uh, website. It possibly is, but don't P- pending. <laughs> exactly. Gonna go to GoDaddy. Access brought to you by gargle.com. gargle.com. Shit on my cream pie. Uh, <laughs> So Joshua Pullen hey. uh, I don't know if you're aware of this But every edition of Public Access Is an educational program oh, snap. So uh, we're joshing around Pulling your meat uh, Pulling my third leg And asking uh, what we've come to know God damn Right so uh, we're going to ask every everybody here At the table what we've come to know today Jeez mm-hmm. What did you come to know Our Hardcore Overlooked London keys that I, you know, it's on my radar. That's what I learned today. Yeah, yeah. I, I, London I, keys. I, I, because if you had said that, I would have been like, huh? And then you would have to show me. I'm like, oh yeah. That and then chick. I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck. Early London keys. Yeah, stuff. yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah. What I've learned today is that you can get elephant soup at Thai restaurants. It's not elephant soup. It's shrimp soup. <laughs> It's not well, elephant soup, but that, it, but that was the thing. Okay, so in the movie in the in Tom Yum Goong, that was the the thing is that the people that stole his elephants, they were selling exotic animals as food, and they were going to make like elephant soup, all right. and that's when he got mad and fucking wrecked shit. It was awesome. Well, I will tell you what I also I've learned today is uh, my good friend Joshua Pullen's af- affection for puns comes from a lifelong family pun mm-hmm. that has gone yeah. unnoticed for generations. Yeah. And that is... Why won't somebody acknowledge it? <laughs> it's, it's Come been, on, Gramps. It's so endearing, oh, but Why it's isn't so that like, on, like, on the map? Is it because it's like... Uh, uh, like is it No, just, like, why isn't it like... You know those those uh, like hear about restaurants and Salt Lake. No, and all this stuff. those restaurants that are called like fuck me. But they don't. You know they what don't I mean? Cook okay. it there, right? They, this is it's just a, this a, is just a, a butcher market. market. It's even better. Are, you can cook it. They'll cook it for you there. You used to make beef jerky there too. Mm, some jerk jerky. My beef. Yeah. Pull it, pulling so meat. So many. Oh my yeah, God. it just keeps going. Yeah. And yeah. Menage, uh, yeah. Regan. They smoke their own meat. What yeah. I came to know Suck today, my dick. yeah. Aside from yeah, the, there's the there's a place called Pull and Meat. Like that's that's just classic. Um, that's my favorite thing that I came to know today. But I also came to know also about Josh is that his perfect female is a <sighs> vagina tube, essentially. Right. That's correct, correct sir. That's okay. That's, yes, <laughs> that is good to know. That is good to know. Um, so, ladies, if you have a vagina tube on no, you, but yeah, vagina tube. No. Um, Josh, I would say might be interested in you. Or, or did y'all just look at? I'm gonna get up all in them tubes. It's Pullen's meat. Still though, Pullen's meat market. I was trying to look for your photo on Houston, Facebook. Houston, 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 a, it's yeah. a cover photo. You gotta look in the cover. Ah, damn it! Queer Pride Pullen Park. Yeah, I don't. Where is that? That's not our. That's not our poster. We're, the Guardians <laughs> Fifth Annual Queer Pine Happy Hour Pulling. That's not it. <laughs> At BrokeAssStewart dot com. <laughs> Joshua Pullen. <laughs> what did you come to know? Well, I learned that Umbach Three sucks ass. It's right? yeah. It's, it's only partially completed. What the fuck's that about? Yeah. No, you Some can pass. Up. You can pass on it. You seen is... part two though, right? I have seen part two. Okay. It's fucking kick ass. Yes, it is. Parkour. But you haven't seen Tom Young Goon. I haven't. I'm going to check that out. The protect- definitely, definitely, that's something else I want to check that out. It's got one of the best elephant uh, fighting yeah. fight scenes to where there's no cuts. Crab Ring Goon? It's, it's just like he just beats beat people Yeah, up I, like I forgot how long it is. Straight. I think it's like a seven minute long one it's, take. It's fucking I'm gonna check. I'm going to check those the out. The Protector. It's on. It's That's what it's called. Pad Woon Sin. The yes. Protector, not Pad Woon Sin. I also learned that... I learned that Larry's wife has a hot ass. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! You're, yeah. Pretty, you're pretty adamant about it. Gee, like, yeah. yeah. Mom you know ass. what? Mom butt. Yeah. yeah. Mom it's butt, his dude. favorite butt. It's my favorite butt. You want to you text you that to me? 
I would, I would yeah, not. and see, I, uh, I'm, I'm advertising it on public access. So am I going to look at her out. butt now? That, I'm cool with it. But then when I look at it, I'm not going to look at it as like, oh, that's sexy. I'm going to look at it to know that's what you consider awesome. The, the butt. I want like awesome a, I want like an up looking up like view if you could get if you could get that like that means I would have to. So do. Andy, yeah. if you're listening, why why would I t- to so me? You're a video guy. Just fucking stick it on the. Get one I'm of those on my, go, on put my, a GoPro, put it on like a, a GoPro walk. on my yeah. on my feet. No, like why would I take pictures of something I, I <laughs> why would I take pictures of something I eat every day? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was gonna say C. Well, I mean, well I love, said. You know, I eat because I eat her butt. Yeah. Nice. All right. So Annie, um, I will yeah. be looking at your butt from now on to see. God damn it. Yeah. What Larry's <laughs> and so is favorite. Josh and so every everyone else is texting that. But you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a you know, I'm not like, I'm not like cockled or anything. But you guys can check out. My, no, but like, like I said, it won't be, <laughs> I won't be looking at her butt in lustful fashion. It'll like, be. Looking I like at it, it when a guy checks out her butt and then I grab her butt and I'm like, hey, no, mine. it's going back to the whole. It's like when you when you're eating like a butt. big Sunday. Right, and you see someone like, "Oh, dude, that fucking Sunday looks awesome," and you're like, "Yeah, slurp." Well, don't do, no, don't no, say no. that because I like to share shit. I wouldn't, you, I wouldn't. I'll share eighties. God butt. damn it! No, but it's like I don't. It's like your taste. Like I'm just gonna look at it to know what your tastes are like. So right. if you like uh, cottage cheese and hot sauce, don't say cottage cheese when you're talking <laughs> about Andy's butt. Oh, I, I'm just thinking about something you like that I think now. is gross. Don't think Andy's butt's gross. No, I can. You, you like her butt? No, I don't know. I'm going to look. I've never looked at her butt. Bullshit. I'm pretty sure I've never looked at her butt. So, Andy, if you're listening to this, I'm going to look at your butt hardcore from now on. Yeah, dude. So fucking pack it up, pack it in, dude. Just to see what Larry's favorite butt looks like. It's a great butt. Okay. That's cool. And I'll be like, oh, okay. That's what you like. Okay. It's a bleagle, bleagle, bleagle. Okay. I get it. (laughs) I'm sure she loves it being called that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, man. You, you know, like, I would make those Ninja Turtles no, shake, girl. The, the, the public access <laughs> listeners, Larry's invented my favorite sound effect, and the sound effect is of of titties and ass shaking, and it's wobble, 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 titty. I can't even wobble, do it. Wobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah, wobble, gobble, gobble, wobble, gobble. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. But when That's I see Big Sean did it, Big Sean owes me royalties. <laughs> Wobble dee wobble wop wobble. When I wobble. see cartoons like, or not cartoons, but comics or something, and there's like little motion things, that, that's the sound effect. Wobble gobble 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 HD streaming and digital download. It'll be available March 14th. That's a Friday. Mark your calendar. It's going to be awesome. In the meantime, what you do is you go to Facebook and you go to our Blood Cousins page and you like the Blood Cousins page. Share it. Tell your friends. Have you seen the movie? Emphasize to your friends that you thought it was a good movie. If you are looking forward to it, just uh, share the trailer and... um, like that page, it's going to be awesome. Like our uh, public access page, that's the podcast you're listening to. You can follow us on Twitter, at ComediaGoGo, hashtag public access. As always, you can get our past episodes at ComediaGoGo.com, and you can get us at LoungeGeeks.com, a bunch of nerdy nerds doing nerdy things. There's other cool podcasts on there you should check out, too, as well. And uh, that's what I got. Uh, yeah, and also uh, uh, promoting some other podcasts. Guys, listen to the Dad Podcast, uh, hosted by my friend Justin Warsham. I was a guest on there. It was actually a lot of fun. Awesome. Uh, it was a, we're not outnumbered. It was an hour long Dad's Cornered, so it was actually uh, really, really cool. And, and Justin's a really, really cool guy out of Burbank, California. Whoa. Uh, so it was it was a lot of fun doing that podcast, guys. If you're listening to this episode of Public Access uh, prior to March 4th, guys, uh, you can catch uh, me, Larry Garza, at the playoffs for the funniest person in South Texas, along with many, many past Public Access guests, including homeboy George Anthony. And uh, if you're available March 5th, then you will catch my co-host Regan Arevalos in the finals for the funniest he person made in the South finals, Texas. Son. That's right. Oh. My uncle made the finals, and this year my best friend made the finals. 
uh, at the uh, funniest person in South Texas. Also, uh, past guest Jay White Cotton, as well as many other past guests from Public Access are going to be representing South Texas at the LOL Comedy Club. Also, this week, Thursday, March 6th, uh, come to the March of Dimes Laugh for Babies comedy show that uh, Comedy Gogo is presenting at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. That will be at 8 p.m., guys. All the proceeds of the $15 will go benefiting March of Dimes. Guys, it, it's a, a fundraiser that's really close to my heart, and hence Dad's cornered. You know, I really support the babies. And this is year number three, third annual. Fourth. Fourth annual. Fourth yeah. annual. Uh, also, uh, fr- uh, Friday... March 7th and Friday, March 8th, I will be opening at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club for the one and only amazing Jonathan guy. Yeah. Awesome, badass comedian, magician, probably my favorite uh, comedian magician of all times, guys. Uh, it's definitely going to be uh, worth a show. Uh, I'm gonna. It's just going to be me and him. So, guys, come to the LOL Comedy Club and check that out. And always support the Blind Tiger Comedy Club every Friday at midnight inside the Magic Time Machine. Yeah, you can see Josh pull and perform. That's and right. Larry Garza perform. And sometimes, maybe. If you're lucky. Blue Moon. Jess maybe, Castro. Maybe Regan. And maybe me. Hmm. Hey, um, uh, stay tuned in April uh, for the yeah. Ad River Center Comedy Club. Please, if you listen to us and if you live in San Antonio, the second week of Fiesta... Um, we April are having, 23rd April 23rd oh, yeah. through the 27th there's a bunch of shows it's the same show there's a bunch of opportunities for you to come and check it out it's going to be amazing we're writing it just for this Fiesta show Comedy Go-Go it's a, sketch show exactly Community Go-Go sketch comedy presenting night in Pinche San Antonio yeah. Night, not night in old San Antonio, but night in Pinche San Antonio. It's going to be hilarious. Come check it out. We'll be posting all sorts of stuff on it soon. Yay. All right. Uh, I'm going to be hosting at the River Center Comedy Club uh, April 2nd to 6th for Carol Montgomery. So that should be fun. And then uh, I got a blog called Feelings on the Internet. Check that out. Google that shit. Where, how do they find it? What? I'll just Google it. I'm, it's some blog site. I don't know. <laughs> if they Google, I don't, I don't know it. I don't know it. If they I've Google, only I posted a few things. On I'll right post on. the link. I'll find it. Okay, and I'll okay. post it. I was like, right. if you Google feelings, I don't think your thing's going to be the first thing that pops. No, up. that's the name of feelings on the internet. Yeah. Oh, feelings on the internet. That's a yeah. blog site. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, Josh, uh, where can people follow you? Where can people friend you? Oh, uh, you can find stuff? me on uh, Facebook, on Twitters. What's your uh, Twitter handle? Uh, Joshua S. Pullen. Not like it. Yeah. It used to be I'm a punny guy, but. I remember that. Yeah. But, uh, Josh, thank you so much for being a guest. Yeah, thanks for having me on. This was fun. Yeah. And, and thank you for all the great. support you've always given to me. Go Go. I oh, really, yeah. really appreciate it. We really, really appreciate it. Looking We're forward looking to that forward movie. To it. Yeah. And you also might thanks. see Josh pull and do a, a guest appearance at uh, uh, NIPSA. NIPSA. Uh, yeah. yeah. Night in yeah. Pincha, San Antonio. I'm also guys. at the Blind Tiger every Friday. So, so thank you all yes. very much uh, for listening, guys. Once again, this is Larry. This is Regan. Yeah, this is Jess. And we're pulling yeah. your meat. Later. Here comes the fun. Here comes the fun.